two things I can't live without, my slow cooker and soup. That's why today I am making a delicious cauliflower curry. This is exactly what you want on one of those cold winter days to warm you right up. This curry is full of flavor. Turmeric, ginger, those warming spices, cauliflower, peas. After a little bit of prep, throw it all together in a slow cooker and let it simmer away. Throw it on a bed of rice and you are ready to go. All this coming up on today's Wise Guide. Oh my goodness, you guys, seriously, not only is it winter here, but it is like negative 20 wind chill winter here. I really thought for a second I woke up in a tundra and I did, it's the Iowa tundra. And you know what I want when it gets cold? Yeah, what all of you want, which is soup. And really the only way to make soup, okay, not the only way, but I love my slow cooker. Throw everything together, let it simmer all day, it fills your houses with those smells and you're ready to go. To start, you just wanna prepare the curry paste. I like to do all this in a little food processor. Just put some oil, garlic cloves, red curry paste, um, it's prepared and ready to go. Wonderful. Cilantro stems, yes, there's a lot of flavor in the stems. A serrano chili, you know, you need that heat. Salt, turmeric, and ginger. I just make sure to peel my ginger with the back of a spoon and then just chop it up into smaller pieces so the food processor can really break it down. When all that's in there, just whirl it up until it is a really fine paste. It'll probably take at least 30 seconds to a minute. Once it's at that point, you just wanna make sure that you can bloom all those flavors. This is the only part of cooking you're really gonna to have to do in the beginning. So just throw all that into a small skillet, just scrape it out and then let it cook with a little bit more oil. You're really gonna notice those flavors and scents and aromas just come right out. This is exactly what you want. After a few minutes, it's kind of darkened in color and you can tell it's ready to go right into that slow cooker. Dump in that curry paste. And then I like to add a little bit of almond flour. Yeah, this seems unconventional, but it adds a little bit of texture and body to this, which is exactly what you want. Next, two smashed pieces of lemongrass. You can buy these in the store. They're usually in the herb section. You just wanna rough them up and smash them just to make sure they really release their flavor. One can of chickpeas. Um, not only are they healthy, but I love the texture and kind of just extra oomph they add to this. Drain off that liquid and then throw those right in. Next, dice up some onion. Throw that right in. Prepare your cauliflower by just cutting it from the stem and cutting it into like bite-sized pieces. Dump that right on top. Finish that off with some chicken stock. Put the lid on and let it go. This is one of those things where the more it cooks, the more it's just gonna fill your house with that great smell and really get you in the mood for a delicious soup. After six to eight hours on low, this is just about ready to go, but to finish it off, we just have to do a couple things. I like to make some rice to go with it, so to get that started, I just heat up some water, add some saffron because it flavors it, and it just feels really exotic. Add the rice, follow the instructions on whatever rice you use, and let that cook. For the soup, I like to add some frozen peas. I mean, seriously, I keep frozen peas in my freezer all the time because one, they're really good, they're really delicious, and you can add them to anything. Seriously, in a curry, you could put anything you want. If you have chicken, add the chicken. And a can of coconut milk at the end. And yes, I use the full fat because the fat tastes good. Stir that in, let it heat all the way through. And this would be a great time to throw out those lemongrass. Just fish them out of the liquid and throw them out. When your rice is finished, you can just fluff it up with a fork, put some right in the middle of a large bowl and then ladle on that soup, you guys. Seriously, this is exactly what you want when you're in the tundra. No, I'm being serious. I think I saw a polar bear the other day. If you wanna garnish this, I like a nice squeeze of lime, a little bit of yogurt, and some cilantro leaves. You know, you use just the stems before, so just chop up those leaves, throw them on top. This warm and cozy curry is exactly what you want, and I can't wait for you to try it. 
Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and until next time. <laughs>